everyone welcome back today we'll be having a look at meter governance what exactly is the meter governance token today we're going to go through a full in-depth deep dive into this crypto we'll also go for a price analysis and price prediction and currently the price of the token is three dollars and seventy cents so we're going to have a full depth review of this the circulating supply is actually incredibly low at 1.3 million coins in circulating supply. In total supply, there are 40 million coins. Now, the coin has been doing really well in the last month. It's gone from a low price of $1 flat to as high as it is right now. At some stages, it was high as $3.90. That's incredible. So it's getting extremely close to the $4 mark. So we're going to have a look at that have a look at the possibility that it could achieve four dollars five dollars maybe even seven dollars or ten dollars in the near future but of course the first thing we have to understand is meter itself it's a layer one permissionless low volatile cryptocurrency without collateralization oracle or regulatory risk it's fully decentralized as well anyone can create meter through proof of stake mining but no one can manipulate it. Thus, it avoids counterparties and regulatory risk. No collateral needed. Collateral is not necessary to create meter, making it immutable to smart contracts, collateral volatility, and oracle risk. So this crypto stands to be fast and secure. Meter processes thousands of transactions per second with hot stuff consensus, so transactions are confirmed almost instantly. But how does this crypto work exactly? That's a really good question. Well, it uses an innovative economy and consensus design that separates currency creation, proof of work, and record keep and proof of stake. Its value is supported by a price of 10 kilowatts per hour of electricity, which is more stable in purchasing power than any other fiat currency in the world. So Meta stands to be the future of multi-chain. It says so on their website, high performance blockchain infrastructure that scales and connects to the financial internet. It's backed by a few well-known participants such as Pantera, DHVC, AU21 Capital, GBIC, and of course you can sign up for their newsletter. They're on Twitter, Telegram, YouTube, Discord, Reddit, and Medium. On their website, they have a really cool way of explaining to us their plans. Starting with number one, consensus and front-running resistance, Ethereum scaling. So Meta SDK, which is the software developer's kit, is built on top of the state-of-the-heart, hot stuff consensus, scalable to thousands of consensus nodes while supporting thousands of transactions per chain. And that's just inviting people to become validators. Next up, we have interoperability. Meta Passport is a N-way. Blockchain routers can allow both assets and smart contracts to travel across the Gornius blockchain network. And next up, we've got number three, crypto native stability. Meta's built-in mass stability. Gas token is created by proof of work and supported by global competitive price of electricity. It aims to complete Satoshi's original vision of a sound money independent of the fiat system. It says here, word for word, Meter is fully compatible with Ethereum at RCP level, brings over almost all of your Ethereum dApps with almost no changes. Unlike other layer twos, DEXs built on Meter are fast, DEXs built on Meter are fast, uncensorable, and front running slash MEV resistance. Now, the use cases are actually really important for Meta. It can be used as everyday payments. Meta can be used for purchases that are like everyday payments, such as a cup of coffee or a new shirt, payments of friends, family members all across the world. It can be used as a store of value. So while governments are devaluing their cryptocurrency with consensus printing, Meta maintains its long-term value so it can protect your hard-earned money. Decentralized finance development. Meter is a programmable layer one infrastructure that can be used to secure medium of exchange for DeFi apps or a sidechain for other blockchains to allow value interactions across crypto assets. 
So that's just a quick summary of some of the use cases for this crypto. Now, because they focus so much on high speed, their throughput is actually 1200 TPS, which is basically 1,500 transactions per second. So it says here, Meter currently supports around 1,500 TPS per EVM chain. This limitation is from EVM itself instead of consensus. Meter scale horizontally by supporting parallel chains and multiple VMs. Instant finality. 2.4 seconds. Enjoy a deterministic transactions on meter. All blocks on meter are fully finalized with average 2.4 seconds block period. Now what's great is that they got more information on resistance, the hot stuff consensus protocol, scalable to 1000s of uh, validators, scalability solutions. They've got plenty more that's going on, plenty more to learn about. Now, as for now, it looks like they've got two dApps. That's the Meter Passport and the Vault Swap or Vault Swap. So that's this site right here. It looks like it allows you to swap token, kind of like Uniswap. And there is the Meter Passport. And this just looks like it's some sort of swapping system. And this just looks like another form of swapping system for token or at least a wallet. Most likely a swapping system because it has converters right here. Now, obviously, long term, I do want to see more dApps being built upon Mina. Now, obviously, long term, I do want to see more dApps being built upon Meter. That would be actually quite fascinating. More value to the network, more value to the crypto itself. So that would be fascinating to see. Now, aside from that, what we can do is go for a quick price analysis and price prediction. So we know what's been going on for the last month. It's been on an absolute rally. It's been doing incredibly well. But let's not forget, three months ago, the price was above $5 per coin. The market has been affected heavily by price fluctuation. The market has had its fair shares downsides, for sure. I wouldn't necessarily call it a crash, what we've been going through at the beginning of this year. It's not necessarily a crash because a crash is just more dramatic, more insane. A crash was March 2022. That was a crash and that was awesome, by the way. Bitcoin was like $3,000 per coin. That was a real crash. This is not a real crash. This is just a really down... This is just a big downtime for crypto market in general, for the global crypto market. Now, if we look back even further, one year ago, the all-time high of this coin was $11.86. Bear in mind that the circling supply might have been lower, in my opinion. It might have been lower at that time, which means that there were less count which means that there were less coins in circling supply, which means that the value was significantly higher. So that could be one of the reasons why we're seeing such a high price around this time. Another theory is that November was a really great time last year for crypto. Obviously, August, September, October were great, but November was also good as well. We've seen the crypto market did well in November. We see the traditional stocks and shares market did well in November as well. So it's no surprise that this token was doing well in November, specifically last year. No surprise at all. But long term, you can expect eventually there will be a day when all 40 million of all the tokens and total supply to be released to the public. But even at that rate, that is still extremely low for many crypto. So I still have high hopes for this crypto. In fact, the market cap is insanely low, 11.6 million. So if this token is being taken serious, more dApps being built up on this platform, I can definitely see this thing easily 10x in, 20x in quite easily within the next two to four years, maybe five years. But if it can be turned into something that's more valuable, yes, the, the cost of the token will dramatically be higher in the near future. That's just my opinion. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more and I'll see you in my next video.